News 3 has learned investigators are looking at a laptop used by the Adams County clerk for evidence of a major data breach in the county. That data breach affecting more than 258,000 residents, potentially statewide. News 3's Madeline O'Neill has the very latest on this case. Maddie. Yeah, well, search warrants obtained this afternoon by News 3 show investigators are looking at a laptop computer used by current Adams County Clerk Cindy Filippi for evidence of computer crimes and misconduct in public office between January 2013 and July 2018. Adams County officials today notified the public of a data breach affecting more than 258,000 people whose health and personal information is in Adams County computers. The county manager told News 3 the suspect is a county employee but couldn't confirm or deny the employee was Felipe. Details from investigators in the search warrant show Felipe at one point had unexplained access to key security software which would have given her access to sensitive information. As for the breach, the manager says they don't believe the information left the county. From all the information we have it's an internal breach so um, it's um, we have employees that um, access documents or uh, records that should not have and that's what we're we're in the process of cooperating with uh, law enforcement to address that. Felipe remains the clerk in Adams County and has not been charged with a crime. A county board member confirms the board will hold a hearing on Thursday the 16th to consider a statement of charges against a public official. That board member couldn't confirm or deny that official was Felipe. That means Felipe will be in office on Tuesday for the primary election. A spokesperson for the Wisconsin Elections Commission said the agency had been in contact with Adams County and said they had not received any information the data breach involved elections. He also said they'd been in touch with clerk staff who quote assured WEC they have adequate resources to assist municipal clerks with the partisan primary election on Tuesday but they have offered assistance. They also would not confirm that Felipe was involved in the investigation. We also reached out to Felipe this afternoon and have not immediately heard back. All right the story is unfolding as we speak. Yeah. Madeline, thank we'll you. follow it. Thanks. Thank you Maddie.